Hi, you all right? Uh, welcome to my day one of LeakyCon. I've just woken up in sunny Chicago and believe me, I'll show you. It is very sunny and beautiful. Um, we've got a very full on day. We've got some experience meet and greets. I'm doing a panel. I'm gonna head down to the green room and go and meet the other guests that are here. There's some pretty cool guests actually. I'm really excited. Tom Felton's gonna be here. Sean Astin's gonna be here. Um, Elijah Wood, Miranda Otto. Let's turn this into something a little bit less disgusting. So I am dressed, this is a fit. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm gonna go say hi to everybody. I'm really excited. Flying is giving, but I look like an egg with my hair slipped back. Comes with the territory now. I'm heading over to talent check-in. There's so many good cosplayers already, I'm so jealous. But we're just trying to find the welcome. I'm trying to go find everybody. We don't know where everybody is. Sneaky peek in there. Oh, there's wands. I like a wand. I will do our assignment. Always avoided the auras. We're about to head for a panel. Um, we're supposed to be there like now. Oh my god, so somebody gave me a ferret. It's a dog. We, it's not a dog. <laughs> it's not a dog. It's not a dog, it's a ferret. Yeah, a and his name's Baklava because I've eaten an unholy amount of Baklava today. Rather than eating vegetables and salad like a good little wizard boy, I've been on the Baklava train. We're paneling. Are you excited? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Now it is. Oh, now now it is. is. <laughs> We're at a panel right now. Oh, Naturally, no. I brought my son. Oh my god, there's a plant. Hello, plant. Are we ready to go? Yeah. I believe so. Uh, my name is Mike Schubert. I host podcasts. One of them is Potterless. Never read the Harry Potter books as a kid, so it's me reading them for the first time as an adult. And then I also host The Newest Olympian, which is the same thing, but for the Percy Jackson books. Uh, my name is Trey Beecham. I'm like here on Instagram, TikTok, social media, content creator. My name is also Troy Beecham. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm M. Wallbank. I am, I wish it. Um, I am, I suppose, accidentally TikTok Draco. Um, <laughs> hey, nice to meet you all. <laughs> Gilderoy Lockhart. How many of you read my books? Make the record show everyone is raising their hand right now. I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, Micah Tannenbaum, Mugglecast. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite like fictional heroes are fantasy, sci-fi books, movies, TV, anything like that. What are your favorite heroes, and what are your favorite stories? Oh, were we going down the line? I thought we were just yeah. <laughs> so I got into all the Harry Potter stuff really late because I I'm a fake fan. At least I grew up on more the space side of things, doing like Star Wars and not I'm um, not Star Trek though. Sorry if there's any Trekkies. In. I said to my parents growing up, I wanted to be either a mermaid or a stormtrooper. <laughs> I've disappointed them on both counts. I'm in fact a wizard. Uh, My favourite character would have to be me. <laughs> Sorry, and there's... Well, it just so happens my hero is Gilderoy Lockhart. <laughs> Micah, my dear boy. Your galleons are in the mail. We usually all start off with just some guy. <laughs> Don't they all? Don't they all? <laughs> I remember people were giving uh, Godzilla vs. Kong negative reviews. Did you not look at the title? Like, this is a vessel for giant monkey fights giant lizards. The movie delivered on that? 100. Like, there should be no negative reviews. People are like, the plot is very convoluted. I'm sorry, of Godzilla vs. Kong? Like, let's picture Voldemort and Harry's battle scene. <clears throat> look, right? And let's say... In the midst of this duel, Luna is on the astronomy tower and she's like, bam, he kills Voldemort. And Harry's like, what happened? And she's like, I can kill him too. Like, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense to just be like, hey, what I, I wanna I get read that version. Yeah. How are you finding it, Chanel? It was good until it's all that. Taking a break. We've had a very long day. We have. I look yeah. bald. <laughs> Right, okay, so the jet lag has just hit. 
and I was trying to I was trying to have a conversation with someone and I am just talking gibberish I'm just what? you just talk gibberish anywhere me and Chanel have become everyone's favorite not married married couple what is the vein in my head that's always there <laughs> the vein is bigger than I've ever seen it. Two hours later. So today has been so much fun, but oh my freaking god, I'm so exhausted. My camera's dead, so the part the last part of this video is on my phone. Went to go get a dinner, we went to go get a tapas um with some amazing, amazing cool friends of Chanel's. And I'm gonna get bed. I'm exhausted. Oh, that was a big yawn. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm a dessert boy. Honestly, I should be a health and lifestyle vlogger because this has so many nutrients in it. See, like that's good primer, right? There you go. There's Brucey. When I woke up yesterday morning, the bags under my eyes, I could have used them for my chuffing carry-on luggage. I'm a lizard boy. I still, still haven't got the grasp of pressing buttons. I've got a Death Eater one as well that's got a snake on it, and that's really cool.